Well, hello again, my culinary brethren. It's Cooking Steve here with the second culinary experience with our new partners at Kitchen Charm and the Kitchen Tradition. Now, last week on our Facebook page, we had a contest that allowed you to choose this week's recipe. The choices were Nashville hot chicken or the Cuban sandwich. Well, although the Miami Dolphins took a pretty big beating from the Tennessee Titans, the contest results still went resoundingly for the Cuban sandwich or the Cubano, as is its authentic name. Now, this Florida tradition actually has two different versions um, as they were kind of made famous in two different cities. In Tampa, they're known for using salami on their Cubanos, where in Key West, they use just ham products. You can find both versions in many places, but today we're going to focus, focus on the Key West version. Now, there's obviously plenty of variations, personal variations, on the sandwich, uh, but traditionally the main ingredients is roasted pork. Um, it's usually marinated in a mojo sauce, which has orange juice, lime juice, lots of garlic, oregano, and cumin. And today we're going to make two sandwiches, so here's what we're going to use for the ingredients. We're going to use, uh, I have two um, different uh, six-inch Cuban rolls. You can use French bread, you can use Italian bread. I am going to use about four tablespoons of yellow mustard which I'm going to apply liberty, liberally to the top halves of both sandwiches. I have six ounces of cooked ham. I'm using sliced tavern ham that I got from my local deli. And uh, I'm also going to put mayonnaise on the bottom part of the sandwich. Okay. Um, now, I'm also using uh, six ounces sliced roast pork. Uh, today I'm using a Spanish deli pork roast also from my local deli and I have four ounces of Swiss cheese So let's get this baby going here. Let me just put a little bit more mayonnaise over here on the bottom And I'm going to put the mustard on the top because I want to get these babies going on the griddle for you today we're going to use uh, our uh, stovetop grill so we can get some beautiful grill marks on there it's another one of the uh, newer items that we're expecting from the kitchen charm line and what i'm going to do is i have this preheating already i'm just going to take a little bit of pan spray and get that going right over there okay and we're going to build these beauties set this right over here Okay, I'm going to build them from the bottom up. So I'm going to start with the ham. Like this. I want to make sure I have plenty for both. Put the ham on there like so. Okay, we'll put a little bit more over here. A little bit more over here. Then we're going to start with the pork. Let me tell you, today being the last uh, regular season game of uh, NFL football, I am definitely going to slice these up and use it for, uh, for some game day food. I think it's going to be fantastic. Okay, we'll put a little bit more over here. We have our Swiss cheese, just like this. I like a lot of cheese on there. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention in the ingredient description that we also use dill pickles on a traditional Cubano sandwich. You can take those babies, you can slice them up like little coins. I cheated a little bit. I got these ones that are already deli sliced a little bit. I just thought for the purposes of being on camera today, it'd make it a little bit easier. So we're gonna put them just like this. Get a nice amount of pickle. That dill flavor really goes nicely. That uh, briny flavor. Okay, and I think we have just the perfect amount to go right over here. Now, traditionally, you would do these on a press, but if you don't have a press, I'll teach you a trick. Okay, we're going to take our heavy weighted fry pan and we're going to use this as our press. And we're just going to gently push down right over there. And uh, I don't have my paper towels here, so, so 
since I'm the only one eating it, I get to do that. So while we're going to leave that for a couple minutes, I thought I would show you another little treat that goes perfectly with a Cubano or Cuban sandwich. And that is a traditional Cuban margarita. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of ice right over here. Uh, ice melted a little bit here in the studio. So I have a sugar cube there on the bottom. And I'm going to take some ice. Then I'm going to squeeze. I'm going to get my paring knife here. And I am going to squeeze some fresh lime juice in our lime squeezer right over here. This will make a nice treat. This is a traditional Cuban daiquiri that I'm making here, which is just lime juice, a little bit of refined sugar. Okay, I like to do both sides of the lime. It gets all that juice out of there. Okay, I'm going to put this back in here. I have two ounces of white rum that I'm going to add right over there. I'm going to put our ice cubes in here. Get rid of that extra melted water. Okay. Going to give this a nice shake. The trick here is to serve it ice cold. And we're going to take one of our beautiful margarita. You know what? I'm going to do a little different. I like it without the ice. So I'm going to strain it right over here. You'll forgive all the the stuff that I spilled. Not a bartender. Okay. This should be a good time to check on our Cubans. Let's give it a peek. Beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to show you how that looks. Okay. Do it again. Just for a couple minutes. Okay. Clean up my workspace a little bit. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful Sunday. And I hope everybody is enjoying these little cooking videos. We're going to do them every week. Teach you how to make different recipes show you fun new items that the Kitchen Charm Collection is coming out with. I think this now should be perfect. We're going to take this off the heat. And can we get a top shot of that? This is a beautiful traditional Cubano or Cuban sandwich. And like I said, because it's game day, I'm going to slice them up, make them a little finger food. Perfect for a tailgate. Perfect for game day appetizers. Okay, so this here is our beautiful Cubano sandwich. You see how easy that is? Now, I showed you how to make, I spilled a little bit, but a wonderful Cuban um, daiquiri. I prefer my Cubano with a little bit of a Pilsner. I think Pilsner is, is light and it's refreshing and it goes with the brininess of the Cuban sandwich. So whether your choice is a nice Pilsner, whether it's a daiquiri, uh, cue the salsa music, grab your Cubano, and have a wonderful week and a wonderful Sunday. Guys, cheers from all of us at the Kitchen Tradition, Kitchen Charm. We'll see you again soon. Mmm.